Hey guys, what's up? It's Dave. Oh, I might have been way too high. What's up? It is Dave, and yeah, today is another day of interviews. Actually, I just got off my only interview I was supposed to have today, so no more interviews this afternoon unless a company calls me, which I haven't got anything yet, but every now and then a contract company will call and ask if I'm interested in something. <coughs> Excuse me. But we'll see if that happens today. So today's interview was with a permanent company. It looks like the job would be here in San Antonio, which would be great. It is one of the two jobs that I've been inter interviewing for that would be in San Antonio, two different companies. The other company I haven't heard back from yet, I did reach out to the HR person on Monday or Tuesday, I can't remember what day, and asked them, hey, just wanted to follow up, um, enjoyed the interview with the other people, blah, blah, blah. And um, she was, responded saying, hey, I'll have information. As, uh, whenever I get information, I'll give it to you. So I'm guessing she doesn't have anything right now. Ugh, let me switch hands. And I'm just going to have to wait for that one. But here's the thing. If I get an offer from one of these other companies, I'm totally jumping at it. I'm not going to wait. Um, as much as I like this other company, like I need to work. I need a job. And so whoever whoever offers me a job first is going to be the one that I jump at. If I get two jobs at the same time, two offers at the same time, um, then I have to consider the benefits and the pay and all that other stuff. And we'll just kind of see what happens. But yeah, interview today, I thought went really, really good yesterday. Uh, one of them went really well. The other one, I just couldn't read the guy. So, you know, you have those interviews where it's just like to ask questions you answer and they move to the next one. That's what this was like with one of the guys yesterday. So it was just one of those, like, I don't know where I stand with it, but the interview I had today was for that same job. So they have like, I think three interviews by this point now, but the one today went really, really well. So hopefully I hear something within the next week or two, hopefully this week, I would love to have like a go, an offer. Hey, we're interested in, in you. And then, you know, usually you say, yeah, I, I, I'll take it. And then they give you the offer letter. So hopefully that happens. Oh, I hear, I hear noise. What are y'all doing? I was running up the stairs. Oh, hey, let's show everyone your braces. Liam got mm -hmm. braces. His teeth are already pretty straight, but this is just kind of uh, make sure that his jaw and everything is just the and way it should bite. be. Oh yeah, you do have the little cross bite. So this is just to correct all of that. How long do they say you have to have them? Like a year and a half. So that's nothing, man. By the time you get into high school, you don't even have them. And your brother and sister had them in high school. You're gonna go to high school. I'm not gonna be here for the rest of the day. Oh yeah, Liam, what are you doing? Spending the night. He's going to one of his buddies' house. So y'all going to a movie? and then to spend the night at your buddy's house. So Liam is just the one that gets out all the time. He's always spending the night somewhere. You were gone for like two days, I think, or maybe it was one night when you went to your Auntie Shay's house. And I never get, and I, and I never get to go anywhere. Well, when you get older, you will, baby. Trust me, you'll, it'll happen. That's how it is with Liam and them. You did stay at your Tia's for three days. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's just I went hey, for hey. four days. I never get to do anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I never get to spend the night anywhere either. Ow. Those are my those are my puppies over there. Oh wait, no, they stay at Mouse House when we go to Disney. That's true, but that's been a while and that's probably gonna be a while until I get a job. So anyways, I need to go do some job searching hunting because I have to keep on pushing on in case um, one of these companies don't call me back. But hopefully they call me back. Hopefully I get a call this week. I appreciate you guys, y'all's thoughts, y'all's comments. Um, Adam, my friend from the UK, appreciate you, man. And uh, yeah, we'll just see what this week holds. Uh, I have, I, I do have, whatchamacallit, Uber on, Uber Eats. And so I'm gonna keep that on. While I'm here looking at jobs, and then I have to go get Jaden here. And about an hour and a half, I have to go pick him up from the school. He's doing this event at the school where they're having some type of event for incoming freshmen. And he's, I think, in charge of a portion of it. So kudos to my, my big boy. He is doing amazing things. Pr very proud of him. Very proud of all my kids. Like, they're just, I'm very, I'm not trying to brag, but my kids are just, I, I love how they're so involved in stuff and just good kids. They're just really good kids. I'm, I'm proud of them. Anyways, enough bragging about my kids. I have to do have to do some work now. All right, lock that, and then I have to go get Jaden now. It's 11.53, almost time to go. It takes me about 30 minutes to get out to school, and I'm gonna go to keep, actually, I probably should turn Uber off because I can't pick do Uber on the way to get Jaden, but on the way back, I'll turn it back on. And um, I'm gonna go see if the, any of the kids, I don't think they do. I think it's gonna be a, a lone trip by myself, but I'm gonna go get him and get back. I applied for probably like 15, 20 different jobs over the last hour, um, did a lot of searches, did some emails because I got 
two more emails for two different jobs at one of the companies I'm already looking at. So it's exciting, but it's beginning phases. So I'm hoping to get something before that again. All right, I'm gonna go. <laughs> All right, guys, we're almost to Jaden's school. It took me a different route, but let me turn this down so y'all can hear me. I found out that Google Maps has this feature that will tell you the most fuel efficient way to get there. And so you just tell it that if you have an EV or electronic or gas car, which we have a gas one, and you just, that's it. And it'll tell you like, hey, this route is the same amount, or in some cases, I think this route took like one minute longer, but it said it would save like 15% more fuel based on like hills and stuff like that, which some of San Antonio is very hilly. So I was impressed with that. I was like, that's very cool. That's something worth sharing. Um, I don't know if Apple Maps does that yet, but I have both on my phone. I kind of use them both, but I've had Google for longer. And generally I think more people probably use the Google Maps. So like traffic and stuff might be more accurate. But anyways, I'm pulling up to Jaden's school. Sorry for all the jostling. It's a very bumpy road. All right, guys, we just got back from Molly's grandmother's house. We had lunch over there and oh, what is on? There we go. I don't know if that was on the lens that I'm using or not, but there was something on there. But we got back. I've had Uber Eats on for like the last three hours. And unfortunately there's like just nothing. I don't know, maybe people aren't spending as much money because I know there's a lot of layoffs. Um, a lot of people are trying to cut back. So maybe that's what's going on with the Uber Eats stuff, but there just hasn't been as many. I'm looking at the phone right now, to, but just nothing. So I'm gonna go back to doing job applications, looking at my resume, working on stuff on that. And then um, I'm gonna try again this evening with Uber Eats because it's almost two. So I'm guessing the lunch hours kind of passed, but there wasn't, I didn't get any, any dinks. So I'm gonna probably put that on again. I'll keep it on right now because you can just leave it on. Maybe go out to down the road around like five or so to see if it starts picking up down there. But yeah, hopefully I hear something back job related. It gets like really, uh, what's the word? Discouraging after you have these interviews and like, Part of it's because I'm impatient though. Like I need to have more patience. Like I want, I want something to happen quickly, of course. And I already emailed the recruiter for the job interview this morning. And he was like, hey, we'll get something. We want to hire as soon as possible. Um, I'll let you know as soon as I hear something, blah, blah, blah. So that's usually the answer right here. <laughs> but I just kind of want them to know too that, hey, I'm interested. I'm making an effort to reach out that type of thing. Just to let them know that like, hey, I'm, I'm, I want this job. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully something this week, but um, right now I wanna work on this just a little bit longer and we'll see what happens this evening. All right guys, it is uh, 5.30 and I have applied for 27, 27 jobs today. So I think I'm gonna call it, like not call it quits, but this is my stopping point for the day. I have email alerts that whenever I check my email, if there's a job that I can apply for quickly over my phone or my iPad, um, or if it's something that I'm just like, this is too good to be true, I'll come up to my computer because sometimes the jobs are the ones that are not the easy apply and you have to go to the website and fill out the whole application and all that other stuff. Uh, so I do keep track of those throughout the evening just in case because I have noticed one time there was a job and I was like, oh cool, I'll do it tomorrow. I'm taking it easy tonight. The next day it was gone. So part of me has to be just you know, have the mentality too that everything is just kind of meant to be. It's hard for me to do that sometimes. So. Yeah, I'm going to be done applying for jobs. I do want to read a book. Um, I have a digital book that I got a long time ago that I've never read. It's the Getting Things Done by David Allen. I saw some recommendation in, in a, on a website today. So I think I'm going to start reading that. And then Molly and the kids go to the school today. They're going to go help paint parts of the school or they're going to help paint paw prints on this the concrete or something like that because their uh, mascot is a, a, a creature with paw prints. So I don't want to give the name of the school. Sorry guys, but they're going to go do that this evening. I'm going to have Emma and actually it's just going to be Emma and me. Emma, it's just going to be you and me because Liam is gone. Oh, yeah. So it's just going to be you and me. So I'm in charge. No, I'm in charge. Don't forget it. Hey, you know what you can help me do? What? Because whenever they go to do the paw print stuff, you're gonna stay here with me, but before they get home, we're gonna I'm gonna start making some tortillas. And I'm gonna need help mixing it together. You help me? Yeah. Okay, cool. So yeah, we're gonna have uh, some fajitas tonight and I'm gonna make some tortillas from scratch. I've made them before. I don't remember where the recipe is at that I use. So 
I don't know how good they're gonna turn out, but they always turn out okay, but I found one recipe that was very, very good compared to the other ones. I think that was the one that used lard. So, but you have to, there's a way that you have to do it with like cold water and letting it sit and all this other stuff. And I think that's what worked the best. So I'm gonna have to do that this evening. Oh, I'll show you here in just a little bit. All right, y'all, thanks to the search mechanism of Apple messages, I was able to find the recipe for the tortillas. So it's a uh, King Arthur baking. Here's the link if you want it. You can just pause the video. But I used this one because it has, um, it uses lard. Well, it gives you an option. You can use butter, shortening, lard, or vegetable oil. I found that using lard was the best because I've tried everything except for butter, I think. I tried shortening, yeah, and I tried vegetable oil. Vegetable oil ones came out okay, but the lard ones were definitely a little bit better. And then it's just flour, baking powder, and salt, and that's about it. But the main thing that this one did that was different from the other recipes is that after you go through the whole instructions of mixing it, it had you divide the dough and then had it rest for a little bit. And I found that having it rest really helped out with uh, kneading it. Like th the problem I had before is that I would roll them out and then they would shrink back. And I think that has something to do with like the yeast and all that stuff. But when you let it rest, they actually fold out a lot easier and stay within that circle form. They don't shrink back and then you can cook them a lot easier. So it's almost seven o'clock. I think they're gonna be done at the school around 7.30. And so Emma and I are gonna start probably getting prepped here in maybe like 15, 20 minutes because we don't have propane in the griddle outside. So we're gonna have to use our small little griddle, which would, it's still gonna be fine. I probably can do like maybe five or six tortillas at a time. And once you get it done, throw them on there, it cook fast. You just flip it, flip to the other side. It's probably like less than a minute by the time that you get one tortilla done. And then skirt steak, and I think Molly's gonna do like rice and beans or something. So let's go cook. All right, y'all, I have my little helper here, Emma. We're making tortillas, we already have the flour, the salt, and the baking powder, powder, and we doubled it all so that we can have more tortillas. Now we're gonna mix the lard. Since we doubled it, we gotta do half a cup of lard. We gotta mix it into this to where it's kind of like Play-Doh textured. And then, what do you think we have to add after that? I didn't tell you yet, but what do you think? Water. Water, yep. And it has to be hot water, mm. but not super hot. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna scoop this in there and Emma's gonna start working it in to where it's cornbread-like almost. All right, y'all, I have very goopy hands because I started to show Emma how to do it, but Emma's gonna go and like do that? it. Yep, go for it. Just kind of squish it very oh, it gently. Feels really good. Very gently. There you go. It feels really good. All right, pay attention to what you're doing. Don't look at the camera. And then start move. You gotta move that stuff all throughout the flour very gently so it doesn't go all over the place. Don't get it out of the bowl, okay? You're doing a good job. And once we get all that on there, then we're gonna put some hot water in there. You're doing great. Keep it up, keep it up. All right, Emma's gonna help with the last few that need to be rolled out into the little dough balls, which I already have some over here that are covered. And Emma's gonna do these last four. We're gonna put a little bit of oil on it so they don't dry out, and then we're gonna just leave it for like 20, 20 to 30 minutes is what it says. I think last time I did about 20, and they were good. So Emma, I need you to roll these into ball, yeah, just like that. And then you're gonna kind of make them a little flat. Like, see how these are flat after you make them into a ball? Just kind of give it a little squish. All right, all right. And then we just put a little oil on top. Daddy just uses his finger. You just dip it in there and you just go. Boop. Let me help. Boop. Just cover the top just so they don't dry out. Do we eat oil, Jake? Well, yeah, this isn't like car oil. This is like oil for baking food. So it's okay to eat this oil. Okay, that's probably enough, baby. We did a great job. Now we have to cover it like I did these over here. Look, these ones are covered up, but now they have to sit for like 20 minutes. Well, do it, do it right. You gotta take pride in your work. You gotta do it good. Yeah, there you go. And I already started a timer and then we'll put them out on the little skillet thing and they'll turn into real tortillas. Let's go there. The hot thing, the hot plate. Oh, the To cook them. You don't eat them like that, do you? Or do you? <laughs> All right, guys, this is the last lone tortilla. That recipe said for one recipe, it makes eight. I doubled it thinking that we get close to 20. We have close to uh, probably 30 or so in there. We have a lot of tortillas made from that. But I mean, they'll last. We'll just keep it and we can make tortillas. I mean, quesadillas, fajita meat, salsa, cheese. We have some green beans. And here's the rest of the meat. 
from HEB. HEB has it already pre-seasoned and you just throw it in the, it's better on the grill, but you know, throw it onto a skillet and it came out perfect. All right, y'all, it is 11, 11. I felt like this is a good time to vlog. 11, 11. Yeah, it's 11 o'clock in 11 minutes. So this is a good, good time to end the vlog because it is late. Em and I are watching a little bit of YouTube. I think this is an old video of Kate. What? It is an old video, but you were watching the same YouTube video. Oh yeah, yeah, I was watching something on the, my tablet. Janet? Janet. Oh, okay. So that's what we're gonna do. She's about to go to bed. I'm about to go to bed because I have to get up around 6.30 to take Jaden to his last day of his school function thing that he's doing for the freshman. And then the rest of the summer he has off, I think for like two more weeks before they go back to school. But I have to get up early. What, what baby? Because today it's eight more days into school and wait. No, 12 more days into school and, and 8 more days into see our teachers. That's right, yeah. And Emma's super excited. Very, very excited about school. Yeah, I, and I couldn't stop think, thinking about it. Yeah. I love school so much. She does. Anyways, y'all, that's going to be it. I'm glad I got to update you guys. Hopefully, hear something about the job this week. And um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you're new. And thank you to all of our new subscribers. We're slowly growing and uh yeah it's a good thing so thank y'all and i'll see y'all in the next video goodbye